Hello and welcome to a week in the life of the car lovers travel agent. A name that may or may not stick, but um, we are Road Trip Club, the travel agency for car lovers, so at the moment it's the best I've got. I'm going to be explaining to you all about what I get up to on a week to by week basis. If you enjoyed today, make sure you subscribe and catch up with more. Um, I'll also be doing some other videos about road trips and the best place to drive, so make sure to check them out. Hello, this is Becca from Road Trip Club. You probably know me if you've already subscribed to the channel, maybe you've watched some of the videos before, but there is so much going on at the moment that I thought I would start doing a weekly video. I'm not going to pretend, I haven't stolen this from my other half who does a very similar video about um, his business. But it's sometimes really difficult to talk about everything that's going on. So I thought people might find it interesting to see a kind of little, not day in the life, and not even really a week in the life, but just a kind of snapshot of the things that are going on that you might find interesting. Um, and sort of follow me on what is, I think it's probably quite an unusual business. Maybe it's not, but um, I'll show you what we do and what's going on at the moment. I'll fill you in on the kind of brief overview. We have launched our um, big, big kind of like headline road trip for 2025. And there are also two more road trips coming out. I, because you're coming behind the scenes, I will tell you some things that we haven't told anyone else yet. Um, just because it's, so it's obviously going on with what I'm working on at the moment. You'll have to wait for the proper details. Um, but yeah, so we've got this um six day six day five night road trip to the Swiss Alps that is currently out and we're taking bookings for so that obviously takes up a little bit of time if you have tried to book then you'll know um but we have introduced a new thing where you can do an inquiry on the website or you can email you can dm all these different things but um you just have to book a call to go over all the details which I think people might well, you probably think that's I'm creating loads of effort for myself, but my experience in previous years is people don't read the listings properly. They don't necessarily... People have their own ideas about what they think it's going to be, um, or people it might not be the right fit for people, and I would rather be honest with people about what is actually... Um, what that road trip actually is, exactly what they get get on the phone with them, talk to them, explain the sort of people we get, um, the sort of cars, all that sort of stuff, and find people um, a solution that is the right one for them, basically. Um, and I think in the past, we have potentially had some people who have signed up for road trips that maybe it wasn't exactly for them, and therefore they spent a lot of money on something that they maybe didn't love. That is the minority, but what I'm trying to do is remove that element of things for people so for these new road trips people are inquiring then they can book a call they can book whenever we've got um we have a system where they can book the time you've probably used it for business and all this sort of stuff but book a call um it can be short and sweet it can be long we just go over everything um go over details and also because we can do upgrades this time, um, it means that if people do want something slightly different, like I was saying about if it's not exactly what they want, um, sometimes the kind of the base level, people might want something a little bit extra. They might really want to do something along the route that we don't have on the route at the moment. We can make all those kind of personalizations, things like we're doing Euro Tunnel this time, um, and they can, we are not that far away from the tunnel on our final day, so people can choose to stay longer, they can pick their time, or they can upgrade to Flexi Plus if they want. So there's all these kind of little things that it's sometimes just way easier to get on the phone, go through all this stuff, explain people the options, explain the hotels, the routes, like dinner, all those little bits and pieces, because um, they it all becomes really important, doesn't it? Particularly if you have specific directory requirements, things like that. So that's obviously a big thing that's going on at the moment. And also the two other ones which are coming out for next year is like our big group road trips. Um, 
so the we're in like the final planning stages of those, which is um, takes a lot of time going over just every little bit to make sure it's going to work for everybody. Um, going over the routes, it's all those sort of things that also you can put so much time and effort into and uh, cannot work out because you have to keep checking these things. Only um, I'm sure I'll talk about this in the probably in another episode if we talk about sort of uh, bespoke road trips but we did a bespoke road trip for some people who came back last week they went to well they went to Barcelona was the like end destination Barcelona and back over the Pyrenees um and one of the major routes over the Pyrenees at the moment is um closed because they had a landslide so that meant redoing all the routes was and two of the hotels as well but again that's um, one of the great things is that we we manage all that stuff for people. So maybe they wouldn't have noticed that if they'd done it themselves. Um, and also maybe they wouldn't have been able to change the hotels, whereas the booking system we used, we were able to um, change the hotels to make the route what they wanted still. They still could have done it. They could have gone to that hotel, but it became an eight hour day and they didn't want to do eight hour days. So that's sort of fair enough, isn't it? Um but yeah, so we are still planning um, bespoke trips for people. If um, you might not be aware, if because I've never talked about it on this YouTube channel before, I don't think. Um, it's something we sort of announced when it happened last year, but have massively talked about since. Um, but we joined the uh, we've got a franchise of a group called Travelosophers now. Um, I don't know if you'd call it a franchise really, but basically we've partnered with them. Uh, so you'll see it on our logo that it says Road Trip Club in association with or in partnership with Travel Philosophers, um, which is a travel agency group. Um, it means that we get great rates on accommodation um, uh, from loads of different suppliers and can also offer a lot more things now. Um, so flights. Um, we've got lots of suppliers for different um, tours and things all around the world so that's also been a really big part of what's been going on this year has been upgrading our website and adding a lot more routes because we do get people who come to us and they want to do things like Costa Rica, Route 66, um, we get requests for things like Japan, Australia and well I'm not even going to pretend I've never been to Australia um, have been to Japan, have been to America, done Route 66, uh, but I've never been to Costa Rica. I've been to different South American uh, locations. But what we can do is we don't necessarily have to, we can't, we don't just have to turn people away. We can partner with the, um, our other suppliers or we can work with our suppliers who do those specific um, regions to still offer something great. You get the expertise, but it's not like a direct. Uh, or not necessarily like a wholly uh, put together road trip club thing because we know we know our specialism and um, but it means that we can offer road trips basically globally so if you want to fly there um, if you wanted to go on a boat if you want to do cruises all these different things um, and that's obviously part of this is we also do a lot of training I'm doing a lot of training every week for different um, different suppliers different locations this week I've been doing some extra training about Switzerland, so we get um, sent various different um, trainings from either suppliers. So last last week, sorry, my companion Tilly is on the floor as well. Um, I'll tell you more about her later. But if you hear her, that's what's going on. Um, and um, yeah, so last week and the weeks before, I've been doing lots of training on Disney, which is always exciting. So Disney World, Disneyland, and Disney Cruises most recently. Um, which is probably not why you're here at this channel to talk about road trips, but um, because we offer all these different things um, and we do get people who want to do family road trips and things like that. The possibilities are endless. Um, so yeah, this week I've been doing some extra training about Switzerland because we um, I've sent some training from the, I can't think what's actually called now, but like the Swiss Tourism Board, they send out these Swiss cast things um, where you can do trainings about all new things, new new modes of transport, new links, um, specific regions, they do all these different things. Um, and because um, the Alps, like the Swiss Alps, um, probably particularly, it's probably the, the Swiss Alps are the most requested 
Um, so Switzerland is obviously an important region for us. Um, Germany, France, Spain, Portugal, um, Scandinavia, all those different things. I'm always doing trainings about those because things change all the time. It's not always um, easy to just get out and explore these places to get that knowledge. Um, so, you know, doing lots of trainings and hopefully can kind of talk about some of those bits. So basically, I'm going to do a video about what's going on and keep you up to date. I release it every week. Um, so if you're new here and you've never seen me before, um, I'll try later in the week to explain a little bit more about Road Trip Club. Um, but yeah, if you haven't heard of us before, go on our website, roadtripclub.co.uk, and um, you can have a look around at some of the road trips we offer. Um, and yeah, I'll just kind of catch up with you throughout the week because it's a really crazy week where I've got to do loads of social media stuff, some more ads for um, promoting the new road trips and just getting generally getting sign-ups. It's one of those like never-ending things where we're always trying to get sign up new people to sign up on our mailing list. Um, yeah, so finalising these road trips which are going to come out at the end of November um, because, well, not necessarily because, but also it's Black Friday, which means that we will be able to do some cool special offers. Um, and the one that we've got at the moment is on an early bird offer at the moment, but that will be coming to an end towards the end of this year. Um, and yeah, so email, social media, we're doing a, um, so if you're part of the club, we do special driving days, uh, but we're just going to do a big Christmas um, get together at a Cafe the Machine, the hut, because it's not a million miles from me as well. Um, and also there's some really nice driving routes around there for people. We do lots of UK kind of things. Um, so it's nice to do, try different places with a motoring theme for people. Um, but yeah, so that's going to take a bit of planning and emails and getting people there signed up. Um, so that's like a never ending thing as well. Um, and yeah, just the usual trainings, admin for people who are requesting their own road trips. So that's been a really, really long intro to what's going on. But um, yeah, I'm just going to, as and when I'm doing stuff, keep you updated and make a little video come up with a name for it which will probably just be the road trip club weekly video but we'll see and if you've got any questions about things you want to know about what we do you can let me know in the comments this is just a little bit of um you might be in this group you might not um this is our facebook group and we i find it i don't use facebook enough anymore it just confuses me um, we've got this Christmas meet up that I put out last week. Um, I'm trying to figure out a date sometime in November or December. Um, talking to Kathy and Machine about sorting it out um, because we need people to book tickets. Um, but yeah, just going to do a little bit of admin on that to see if we can sort that out, get it booked, get some people coming along. We'll do an email later this week. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spend my afternoon doing a little bit of that. Welcome to day two, which is actually Wednesday, because I started this yesterday on Tuesday. Um, it's usual absolute chaos in our house, but we've got lots to do today. You can probably hear Fireman Sam and Screaming Babies in the background. So I'll try and open my iPad. Let's see if you can sit there. Will that actually work? Um, so, sent out an email yesterday morning about the, shh, Tilly, um, about the, a few more details about the Italy part of um, our road trip next June. So, um, had a few more inquiries off the back of that, I'll go through them this morning, um, arrange some calls with people, um, some other emails to sort out, and finalising the date for our Christmas meetup, which looks like it's going to be the 15th of December at the hut. Um, it was going to be free for members, so they'll be able to um, register their place for their car free of charge. And then there's a £10 charge, uh, which goes through Caffeine and Machine for other people. 
who want to come along so it's not a massive um, outlay and then also you can claim 50% of it back on food so not that bad. Uh, lovely driving location, yep, yep. I don't know if you can hear Thomas in the background agreeing, but he is. Um, so yeah, do a bit of that. We've got an email about that going out tomorrow, so you need to sort that out. Also, because I do freelance work, um, I've got some writing and a meeting with everyone else about that at lunchtime today, and excitingly going to see Jimmy Carr this afternoon. So it's a really busy day, sort of my, of my own making. Um, but yeah, lots to get out because before you know it, it's Thursday tomorrow and then it's the end of the week, so. Um, Lots to do. I'm surrounded by children mess and scowling at a two-year-old who does not want to do as he's told at the moment. Um, it is half term this week, which means even more so than usual. Um, I have to try to be really organised with what we're doing. So the time is quarter past 12. I didn't tell you very much about the rest of my day yesterday because um, I just sort of had to get on with it. But um, emails are all teed up to go out this afternoon. So if you're on our mailing list, if you're not, I'll put a link uh, down below. Now there's things being thrown around the kitchen um, so that you can join if you want to. If you are already on it in about an hour and 45 minutes, you will get an email telling you about our Christmas meets and also scheduled social media um, for the rest of the week and some of the adverts. So all that sort of stuff, it's been handy being able to do it in advance. So it's been a bit of an interesting afternoon uh, for two reasons, maybe three, we'll say three. Um, so I'm looking at doing some more events locally uh, to kind of promote all the different things we can do now. And um, so I spoke to one of our local um, hotels and restaurants, really nice place. I was looking at doing some kind of, I'd, I'd sort of describe it as like meet and greet, probably similar to the way we do driving days where it's a good um, kind of opportunity to socialise, but also talk to people about um, the sort of things we can offer. I was looking at doing some locally for different um, adventure travel to kind of just like expand the market and do things that are easy um, or easier, you know what I mean, rather than travelling all over the country to meet lots of different people, looking at who is in the local area and I can do easy events in the evening where there's no travel involved, um, that sort of thing. So... Um, Dropped them over an email because, as I mentioned, it's half term and they're screaming children around and got like an instant call back um, asking if I'd like to come to their um, wedding fair, uh, which I thought, um, I just, they went to voicemail because they were screaming. Um, so I thought that was going to be just like, do you want to come along and have a look at the space? Um, but actually was, they're looking for, they really want to get a travel person involved, travel agent involved. Um, so they've asked me if I'd like to have some space there, which would be great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go down tomorrow to talk to them some more about that. Um, and even though I've been there many times before, but just sort of understand what we could use. There's a child on my lap, um, as you can probably see. I'm trying to keep her quiet by holding her, but mm, yeah, not working. Um, so just don't start making loads of noise. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to go see them tomorrow to talk about that and see what we can do. The other thing is um, a banking thing. It's really boring, but it's just, well, I mean, like, admin is such a big part. You, probably, you can probably tell from this week that um, marketing is such a huge part of what I do. But also the admin side of thing obviously doesn't go away, uh, particularly when you're a small business. And um, I've used this bank account since I became a limited company. So in... 2020 yes um i should probably remember that so like for four years i had this bank account it's been great it was recommended to me at, by someone at the time because there's no fees on it it's great um backed by natwest and now and this is partly my fault they've been emailing me to say to ask me to switch to they've got like a proper bank account rather than an e-bank account um which is great but 
then I got an email yesterday saying like, we are going to close your bank account. You need to switch. And that's, I mean, I probably started doing it earlier, but then I thought like, it's sort of like, this is what we're going to do in like a list in the app. And then it's, you get to use the same app, but it's a new bank account, which means a new account number, a new sort number, sort code. And to me, that is, well, I've to anyone, that's really annoying. I don't want you to close my bank account. I know you're just going to move the cash over and I'm going to get a new bank account and it's happy instantly. I won't have to set anything up and all that sort of stuff. But it does mean that I've got to... It does mean that I've got to um, change all my direct debits. It means I've got to change like people I reg who I regularly invoice. I've got to tell them my new details all that sort of thing which is a pain it'd be like yeah i'm sending you an invoice but like make sure you pay the right bank account and hope that they actually do do that and don't just send it to the same place they always do um so yeah it's just it's just annoying so that's put me off i started doing it earlier and i thought maybe there's a better bank account remember i've actually already got another business bank account and now i can't decide whether am i am i just trying to like Am I just annoyed with them and that's why I don't want to go with them? Or do I, should I just go with someone else? I don't know. Either way, I've got to change everything. That's the thing. Either way, I've got to change everything. So, yeah, there's just another thing that I've got to look into and decide if I'm making the right decision. And it probably won't really make any difference anyway. It'll be the same whatever I go with. But if you've got any recommendations, please do let me know for good business bank accounts. Good morning. It is finally Friday. Um, and join myself and Tilly back in the office. You can hear the other noises in the background. So I'm off, my, off on my way to the Alba Bank. I'm hopefully going to be holding this event later this month um, to have a look around and talk with them, talk about the wedding fair as well. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's quite a unique little space, so I'll try and show you a bit of it as well. So that was well worth doing, I think. Still trying to not look mental by filming myself. We'll get used to it. Um, yeah, brief meeting, but really good to see the space. I've obviously been there before, obviously. Um, been to lots of different things, parties, weddings. Um, it's a really, really pretty location. Not that necessarily matters for what I want to do. I'm looking at hosting some people to introduce them to what what sort of things I can offer, particularly ahead of um, like our, our busiest time of the year is January and February. That's when people start thinking about things like holidays. So I'm not necessarily looking to start selling things to people at the moment. What I'm looking to do is talk to them about it, make them, make them like us, basically. That's probably the simplest way of putting it, isn't it? You want to spread your wings, introduce yourself to people who could be potential customers, who not might know potential customers, particularly when it comes to things like holidays, travel. It's, some, it's not something that it's completely unattainable for people to do themselves. We're just trying to make it easier for them. We can offer the same things better, same price, but without them having to worry about any of the faff that comes along with it. So, um, yeah, so... Next step is to choose a date. I think November 28th we're gonna go with, which is gonna put it a little bit close to the driver's day and possibly make my life a little bit difficult, but pretty well versed on how to do a driver's day now. Um, and yeah, and start talking to some different groups locally about what we can do. So we just had a little request come in for um, a holiday, uh, for a road trip someone's looking at. Uh, for 2025 they're looking for um, some ideas to go to the Alps and to Germany so you can see um, I'll tell you a little bit another time about how we can see what people are interested in the most uh, but Germany and the Alps comes up a lot so this is kind of an ongoing obsession for me but also um, just something that like every time I end up doing um, putting together routes or just like requests, features, all those sort of things, we end up with all these dots all over the place where I save 
and categorize the different things. And one of the most recent um, things we've been doing is a lot of um, car museums. And um, because, or like just different car related places, car restaurants, car hotels, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I think I might have even done a video for it on here, but about best car hotels, always collecting things like that. So, but recently car museums have been um, a really big thing. People want to add those on. You'll see if you look at our own events that we've got, um, we always have at least one kind of historic car thing or car museum, car collection in there, um, as well as the driving routes and things like that. Um, so yeah, so just putting together some options for someone um, to see if it was the sort of thing they'd want to do um, based on their kind of their requirements. So that is it. If you enjoy what you saw today or even vaguely interested, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. I will be doing some more videos as well about what's on our road trips and the best places to drive and things like that. You can check out the channel to see some of the ones I've done before. If you are interested in Road Trip Club, don't forget to head over to roadtripclub.co.uk where you can find all of our road trips and lots of different resources for planning your own road trips and finding the best roads. And you can also find us on Instagram, we are Club Road Trip. You can find us on Facebook, we are Road Trip Club. And you can find our Facebook group, the Road Trip Club Plans and Ideas, where we do lots of videos, um, ideas, plans, as the name would suggest, and generally helping people out when they've got an idea for a road trip and planning our road trips. So um, make sure to have a look if you're interested. And join me next week where it won't be half term and it hopefully won't be as hectic, but there's lots of other stuff going on that I'll be doing.